C7. Could you unhook that jaw? That, that eyelet comes off the screw inside the chin there. Yeah, super, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> All right. So generally, can, I'll, we can pass this around actually so you can look at it. Generally, I'm working for width. I'm working inside the skull, encouraging this whole palette to get wider on most people. There are uh, small glands there, there are small nerves, so I'm not being super aggressive, obviously, I'm being sensitive. The mouth is one of the only places in the body that has more nerves per square centimeter than the hand. Usually your hand, much, hands are much more sensitive than what you're touching. The mouth, it's the opposite. The, the mouth is more sensitive than your hand. So you have to be really slow, really delicate in the mouth. The, the impact is much greater from the touch. Thank you. Okay, you're ready. <laughs> Open in your mouth. Okay, and then, then you can let your jaw relax there, Laura. People will hold their jaw open for you. You don't need that. You know, they don't need that. It's, it's really okay to have someone's teeth rest on your finger. Three-year-olds, on the other hand, <laughs> will have a good time biting you a little bit just to see what you do. <laughs> so I'm feeling the width of the palate, starting at the front and slowly working my way back. Laterally, just uh, leaning on those bones, allowing them to drift and widen. My thumb on the outside has the other side of the maxilla, feeling through the inner and outer uh, relationship of the teeth. Are you doing can, this? Can we hook that jaw back on there? And I'll sh well, actually, no, without the jaw is fine. I'll show you with this. Am I doing? I was wondering if you were going like that, or in the center. I got my thumb on the outside of the palate, and I'm using this finger inside to actually feel between those two. Starting from the midline of the palate? Starting from about the midline of the palate and just checking, are there any places that could widen all the way back until it gets soft and too gaggy, too sensitive? Okay? Thanks again. Mm -hmm. You want more? <laughs> 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 like a little bird. <laughs> Yeah, and both sides. Now you notice I did her right masseter and her left palate while I'm still sitting here. So you can combine these two and then switch sides and do the other ones. So you don't have to be going back and forth and back and forth. We kept getting requests for DVDs in our workshops. We had people come into the workshops and they wanted to have a way to remember what they'd studied afterwards. I'm a New York State licensed massage therapist and I live in northern New Jersey. I thought it was outstanding and excellent. The visuals were wonderful, the lectures were very clear. Till was extremely patient about explaining things. I will be implementing his techniques and procedures. I thought it was really interesting this morning. My partner, when she worked on me, she said my face was crooked and she found all this damage and with the techniques we used in the class she straightened my face. It's really wonderful to learn these techniques and to feel them as they changed my body. It's given me a lot of ideas, um, not only the methods that he's used, but when we practice um, we've come up with some new ideas, um, things that we could change a little bit. I'm pleasantly surprised with the quality of the instruction, the detail. Hints and um, just a lot of material that's completely related to all aspects of massage, whether you're um, into the bar, like orthopedic, or into healing, or deep tissue. I mean, just it's a wide variety of 
uh, modalities. So it's definitely appealing to everybody. It's really very good. But I think he um, comes with the assumption that we are professionals and, uh, and is giving you something that is, is really useful uh, on, a, on, on an advanced level. A lot of the head work was very important to me because of the uh, specifics that I work with in patients. Um, it was really good and useful for um, showing how to work effectively um, without a lot of effort, but in utilizing the client's participation and also um, listening to the body and then like facilitating uh, the space for change to happen instead of trying to force it, I appreciate.